The Wonderful World of Puss in Boots, the only Toei film to get multiple sequels. After the last project being a nightmare, Mori and Otsuka have commented how easygoing Puss was in comparison. The production went without a hitch, which shows in the final product, because Puss is fun, wild entertainment, where more western sensibility akin to Warner Brothers cartoons. While Takahata was booted to the TV assistant director position, we have all the other big animators here. Kotobe did some of the quieter, delicate cuts, Otsuka did the transformation scenes with the princess fainting, while Miyazaki would work on chase sequences, something that would become a staple of his later work. Moreover, he'd collaborate with Otsuka on several of the final cuts for the film, like this one, or that. Maybe that too, I don't know. Mori was the animation director again, he worked on Pierre and Perro's skipping cut, which he thought was a bit of a failure. It's the kind of motion that's frustrating to get right. If the rhythm is off slightly, the whole thing becomes stiff. I'd agree it doesn't have as much bounce as it would need, but I think he's not giving himself enough credit, considering the rest of what he was doing. Yusuji would do the character designs for the film. Mori's character designing strengths lied with the animal characters. His human characters were more hit and miss. This is a point when you could see how Yasuji would affect Miyazaki's aesthetic sense. Speaking of character, they may be a colourful and fun lot, but they don't have much depth or consistency. Lucky the film isn't really going for that angle anyway. It takes a while to get into its groove, but the action set piece finale builds up to a killer ending, full of swashbuckling stunts and some of the best animation Toei has to offer. It's a great adventure story, which I can't recommend enough. Check it out.